<laughs> Taylor and Grisham are similar in this sense, that they both promote open carry gun rights and thus rose to prominence in an almost identical fashion. Taylor found a loophole in Florida state law which said you could open carry as long as you were on your way to fishing. There's patriots like me, C.J. Grisham, Annika, Mike, Mike Fernino, all these people that you're, you're trying to criticize. These are the patriots that are, are needed in our country to expose tyranny. What's going on, buddy? Soliaka here. And uh, <laughs> this is funny to me. So thank you very much, Colleen Daily Herald, for, you know, giving me my 15 minutes of fame in your article about outside influence. Well, you know, sometimes out, outside influence gives an impartial look at some of the corruption that's going on in the cities. And don't think I'm just picking on you, Colleen. I've been covering Dalton. I've been covering Clearwater. I've been covering a lot of other cities that are doing the same thing. So don't, don't think you're special and don't think I'm just doing it because of whatever. This, is, this was me covering a good friend of mine's video of your mayor telling him that because he's not a resident, he's not allowed to speak at open comment. Sir, I, I cannot hear your comments at this time because it has to be from residents only. Which makes absolutely no sense because if you know who he is and you actually talk to him, you probably find out that guess what? He's been coming to Colleen for a while, shopping in Colleen, spending his money in Colleen. So, anyway, we're going to get into this um, this article, this uh, nice little hit piece they wrote on me, CJ, Unka, and uh, I believe her name's Julie o Oliver, or J Jamie Oliver, well, uh, J Julie Oliver, I believe. Um, if I mess that up, I'll, I'll correct myself in here in a minute. But anyway, let's get into this video because this one, this is funny. And I also want to give another thank you very much, Colleen Daily Herald, because here, let me sh just show you real quick of what covering your town has done for my channel. Outside influences cause tension in at Colleen City Hall. I don't know how, but okay, let's let's see what they have to say. And this, this is written by Kevin Limity at Colleen Dar Daily Herald. Links will be in the description. I find it funny that they use me eating popcorn, the thumbnail of this article, in a YouTube video that garnered approximately 146,000 views as of Friday. Florida resident Michael Taylor, known online as the Arm Fisherman, lambasted the Colleen City Council and especially Mayor Debbie Nash King. Well, I don't know how truthful that is. All I have been doing is taking her words out of her own council meeting about the things that she's saying and doing. And you're in, how am I, how am I lambasting her? How am I doing that? All I'm doing is covering your tyranny. Whenever you say and do things that the people do not like, whether it's one person or a hundred people, and then it gets exposed, then you get all mad. But let's keep going. The title of the video was, This Tyrant Mayor of the City of Killing First Amendment. If you see the play of words there, I hope you do. Killing the First Amendment. Well, anyway, it went through similar talking points that C.J. Grisham, a Temple resident who recently showed up at meetings decrying similar issues pointed out the video decried the City Council's 7-0 to zero decision on January 9th to remove citizens' comment from non-agenda items. However, citizens' comments on agenda items are still allowed and is required by law, but that was overlooked in the discussion. That absolutely was not overlooked. We just didn't have to cover that because the citizens do have a right to speak on agenda items. What you don't have the right to do is take away citizens comment because you can't handle what the people are saying. 
You know, that is malicious intent. You know it is because you just can't handle it. You're taking away these citizen comments because you don't want us talking about conversations at a newspaper. You don't want us holding you accountable for things that you've done outside of these chambers. Are you able to remove citizen comments? Yes. What you're not allowed to do is do so for a discriminatory purpose. So even if you do something legal, even if you do something that on its face doesn't appear to be discriminatory, if you do it for a discriminatory purpose, it's illegal. That's what we were covering. You gladly had citizens' comments for years, and because you, were, you found out that you could get rid of citizens' comments, you decided to do it maliciously. When you told a, re a person that wasn't a resident that he couldn't speak, and it was the wrong person to say that to. But you didn't find that until after the fact. And here you are crying about it. What Taylor and Grisham's activities show is how influential outsiders can have a spillover effect on local politics in Colleen. Sometimes it takes a big guy or bigger guys to help the small people in a town that are screaming for help. From even after, even before CJ showed up, I started looking at your past, past council meetings, and you were doing the same thing. You were shutting up your, your, the citizens that were speaking because you didn't like it. There was nobody there to fight for the, the little people. And when I covered it, and when CJ covered it, and now a lot more people are covering it, we have exposed what you're doing. The video uploaded by Taylor mostly contained out-of-context clips from the city council by a select few residents who who comment a virtual at virtually every meeting. Sean Price, Michael Fornino, Melissa Brown, Annika Nag I'm sorry, I'm we're just gonna call Annika N and Cameron Cochran and others. In one video titled When Cit When the Citizens Speak to the Psychopath and counsel, but they do not care. Taylor is seen eating popcorn before the city council comments begin. That video had approximately 10,000 views as of Friday. The Arm Fishman uploaded several other clean related videos, including one which essentially reposted the spat between Fornino and former councilman Ken Wilkerson last year, in which Wilkerson went into the audience of the council meeting to confront Fernino, who had publicly criticized Wilkerson's military career. That video had approximately 83,000 views. And that's one thing I'm gonna say about this, is that when I looked at your council meetings, none of your council meetings were actually being watched. People were, you know, 60, 70, 80 views. And I'm like, how can this, how can this council and this mayor not be exposed because nobody's watching nobody knew and thankfully i have been able with a platform to expose it so that it got further out there so that now everybody's covering it this is what you did to yourself you treat your citizens like crap there's patriots like me cj grisham annika mike mike fernino all these people that you're, you're trying to criticize these are the patriots that are are needed in our country to expose tyranny but you don't seem to understand that whenever you have that dictator mentality that is what a dictator does we tell you what to think and this is the only thing you can speak about and if even when you speak about it and they still don't like it they still try to silence your speech and that's what that's what I see going on in Colleen Taylor and Grisham are similar in the sense that they both promote open carry gun rights and thus rose to prominence in almost identical fashion. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be like, a, like kind of hurt my feelings, but yeah, I love CJ. He's a good friend of mine. He open carries with me here in Florida. And when I come to Colleen, guess what I'm going to do in Colleen? I'm going to be open carrying all over the place there. Yeah, it sounds like a good time to me. That's what patriots do. They stick together because guess what? I got his six just like he's got mine, but for some reason, nobody has your six. 
Taylor found a loophole in the Florida state law which said you can open carry as long as you were on your way to go fishing. So in response, he carries carried two guns and a fishing pole. I have either I have an AR, either AR rifle, AR pistol across my chest. I have a Glock 23 on my hip and a fishing pole. And sometimes I carry a flag just to let people know how patriotic a guy I am. Said Taylor in a Fox 30 Five, Fox 35 out in Orlando last July. Well, damn, you're digging into this. You dug into a little bit of me pretty deep so far. Um, you know, if you actually did a little looking, you would have found out that the same reason that I get to open carry my firearm while I'm fishing, well, it's the same law for law enforcement. The same law that applies, law enforcement get to open carry their firearms. So is the law that allows them to do it is that a loophole you know like you know the only loophole that i know of the only loophole i've seen on a gun is the one that you put a fucking lanyard through taylor was arrested in 2021 for allegedly recording a phone conversation with a local parks and recreation official but charges were later dropped in florida it is illegal to record a phone call unless all parties consent well Obviously, they were dropped, and when they did all their digging, they found out that I can record public officials. Not telling anybody to do it, but that's why they dropped the charges. The Herald attempted to reach out to Taylor, lie, through C.J. Grisham, but did not receive a response by deadline. Well, I never got any of that, so, in my, and it's not hard to get a hold of me. You can contact me at thearmfisherman at gmail.com. Now we're going to talk a little bit about Grisham and I'm going to give you my final thoughts. Grisham was mentioned in the Arm Fisherman video with Taylor urging his more than 178,000 followers to follow Grisham as well. Both Grisham and Taylor are connected to the audit community which films interactions with police because in theory it's it's supposed to make police more accountable by catching them in violation of the law and people's rights. Well, imagine that. We catch misconduct by police and now we're catching misconduct by mayors and city councils. Imagine that. All in 4K. Jeez. Gosh. The irony, right? Now, what I will say about a lot of this is that thank you very much, Colleen Daily Herald, for giving me your platform that means absolutely garbage to me. I hear you only have 6,000 paid subscribers. 6,000 paid. I almost gained, I gained probably in the last couple weeks covering Colleen, I probably gained 3,000 because of you. So... I thank you very much for, you know, what you guys are doing, and this is going to help shine more light on Colleen, because the more you keep doing things in, you know, what I've explained to numerous other city councils, sometimes it's better just to take, take the L, just take the bumps and bruises, because bumps and bruises, they will heal, but the more you friggin' try to trample on the Constitution, it is going to do more harm to you to you and to your city because now your city is the focus of a lot of us you know you can say i'm an auditor okay i consider myself an activist i consider myself a person that wears a camera so i document what i do and i post it online sometimes it involves police sometimes it doesn't but that's not the point here. The point is, is that I have, I am doing something that is, is beneficial to our country. And that's defending the Second Amendment. For you, you swore an oath to defend the rights of the people. And then you slowly and willfully trample on them. That is why we are covering you. There's probably... This is actually an epidemic. This is ongoing in numerous cities, numerous towns across the United States. 
And I implore anybody that if you are having these same issues, please email me at thearmfisherman at gmail.com and I will do my best to help expose the tyranny that is going on in your town. Right now, between Colleen, Dalton, and Clearwater, my hands are pretty full. But hey, sometimes you, you have to do what you have to do to make it beneficial for everybody. Because what I am doing is I'm just one voice with a lot of followers that we're exposing this. And I'm sure, Colleen, you're getting phone calls. I, I can't help what people are doing. You know, you, you signed up for this. Just like I'm a public figure, people like yourself, KDH, like to write these things about me without even talking to me. And it's not like me talking to you was going to change anything that you had to say. Because from what I do know, you are controlled by the mayor. Because from the audio that I did hear, yeah, that, that 45 minute audio that you guys don't want to talk about, that y'all know about, yeah, I have that audio too. And trust me, I'm going to do something where I can get that audio out for the world to hear. Because they need to hear her racist rants, her, it's about me, it's about me, it's about me, and this, and, and the person was terminated because of it. Like, over, what, a photo? Over some pictures? You didn't take a picture quick enough? Like, that's what happens when people get into power. The, this is why we're exposing you. Because of your dictator ways. This is not okay. We will keep exposing you. And I will, keep, I will continue to eat popcorn. Every time I see one of these silly videos and silly things that they do and like I say I have a dossier I have more information because some of the people that you're trying to throw under the bus and I, I'll call one of them out because I'm starting to become really good friends with him and I have not met this guy from all the conversations Michael Fernino you know who you are you can keep sending me all the information and I will keep releasing this information because they can't stop me. I'm here in Florida. I'm not in Texas. I'm not trying. If the mayor wants to reach out to me, the mayor's more than welcome. I'll put her on a live stream and we'll have, a, we'll have some sit down conversations, but they're not going to be softballs. You know, <laughs> we're going to have some, we're going to have some difficult questions that you're going to have to answer in Obviously, it's never going to happen, but my my email is always open to you, Mayor of Colleen. But I'm going to end this video. Links are all in the description. And um, I want you to hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment telling me what you think about this mayor. And tell me what you think about Colleen Daily Herald. Because I, I, they're all intertwined and they're all, they're all corrupt. That's why they're trying to say what they said about me and CJ and Annika. Um, I, will leave, um, I will leave a link to the entire article. Um, you can go and watch it. I didn't put any audio. It's just the audio, audio screen recorded and you can watch it. So I'm going to get out of here. Soli Ecker. Deuces.